Hey guys, Kingpin Light here, and we got Vonda Bocalo. I believe that's how it is. And I actually caught the premiere for once. I knew I could do it. <clears throat> I got super lucky too. I went on YouTube. I went to Vonda because I wasn't sure when it was going to drop, and I saw it was premiering in like an hour. So I was like, cool, I'll jump on and do one early and actually catch it on the premiere. So that is why I do not have the regular Coke. I got NOS this morning because I needed to be a little more awake. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it. As you can see, I, I forwarded through the countdown and paused right when I saw the logo of it starting. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. I did hear the little beat already from like the uh the trailer so i was expecting that sound but it definitely the drop was nice so i'm guessing that little logo in the beginning was like a local beer or something kind of want to try it now i had this uh this beer out in the caribbean called carib uh, i haven't seen it anywhere else they might sell in like miami or something but uh it was it was surprisingly good or maybe it's because i was out there for like eight months out on the island and that's like all they had, so my mouth got used to it. And you guys let me know if you actually had that, whether it's good. Oh, hold on. Aha. Okay, cool. Let me back up. Yeah, that first flow was actually kind of kind of nice. Unique, I think, to what he's done or what I've heard him do. Uh, a little more like staccato almost. But... Yeah, that was nice. And I'm guessing that Buck Hello means let's squat up. He repeated Buck twice, so I'm just assuming that's for like musical quality, but or like, you know, musical repetition. But Buck Hello, how do you say? It? I got here one more time. Buck Hello. I think. Either way, so it means let's squat up. All right. Yeah, I like those little endings he does. The uh, the sound, uh, the trailing. Uh, what would be what would be the right like the cadence? Basically, the cadence he's doing toward the end of each line here. Also, he said never snort cocoa. What's wrong with that? I'm just playing. Don't do that. Mm. Damn, that girl was pretty. But I was going to say, uh, okay, so he's kind of talking to shit. He's got the money. Never has free time. He's going to go out and party. Pay for everybody. I'd say he better trust those people around him, though, if he's paying everybody shit. This is one of them bangers he makes. And he's got the deeper songs here and, and, and there, um, especially in that Skull album that I reacted to. But then here, this is just a party song, right? Like you throw this on, have some people over, get drunk, and then regret it in the morning. <laughs> Oh, 
hăng hăng để cho lo ngày cô trong rong các bạch vẫn có văn solo cứ bốc hết lô if you know you know baby let's go i know where to go bốc bốc cái lô các bạn vào đây đi nằm mô yo 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 mà khen ai ai đó so slow hello Hold up, just real quick. I'm assuming this is just for the shoot, but it could be a real place. If that's like a real club, maybe it's like a famous, you know, like one of those uh, dive bars or something like that. Let me know, because I definitely, I've been more and more thinking about traveling and shit. And I already have Tokyo on my list. I got Italy. I got a couple places I'm going to travel to first. But at some point, it'd actually be kind of dope to go over to Cambodia as well. Add it on my list of like travel spots. And if I do, wherever I go, I want to party a little bit, right? So I got to know the spots or at least like the general areas to go to. Have a little fun time when I'm there. So let me back up a little bit. But dive bars, man, that's, that's the place. I just gotta say that beat, man. That little sample with the distorted singing or uh, whatever that is. That sounds nice. I just realized what that says. Hold on. At night, I suck in that cocoa where milk comes from. So, uh, I'm assuming boobies are right there, huh? Is that what it actually means, or is that like a slang term for what it could mean, I guess? <clears throat> Basically, my, my to say that on on uh, YouTube or my uh, getting a little too too dirty here, man. Damn, my my boy used uh, some DJ Screw shit right there, huh? You remember those days when everything was uh, chopped and screwed? Fucking with that beat. Also, I just realized how dumb my question was of whether that was a real spot because there was like no bar or anything. It was literally just a room. But my question still stands. Where are the best like dive bars and shit to go to in Cambodia? Because that's normally what I go to anyway when I go to a new city in the States. I look for like those low key bars with like graffiti and shit all over the wall. Uh, I would too, man. I like how my boys said, don't talk about work, bro. I'm drunk. Mm. Oh, man, I feel that to the level. The only difference is he's actually got, like, a cool... Like, he makes music, right? So hearing about his job is cool and shit. I work fucking IT, so when we go out to bars, right? When I've gone out to bars with coworkers. Dude, I've told him before. I'm like, bro, why do you only talk about work? Like, I'm off work. Stop talking about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, it was toward the end. I was like, why did the closed captioning go off? This was, I'm guessing that's the end.
Damn, I know, I know that had to hurt. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was kind of funny how he just slipped, right? He didn't even look like he got hurt. He had like everybody jumping. Like, you good, bro? You good? <laughs> I would have busted out laughing way earlier. Yeah, that was nice. It's cool actually catching the song in time. And you know what's funny? I was thinking the other day, like when I first started making these uh, reaction videos and shit, <clears throat> and actually I started making like tech review videos. I uh, I was like really nervous or whatever in front of a camera. And nobody was even watching. It was literally just me and like my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, I was definitely like super nervous. I realized like more rigid. And then I started getting more people watching, right? Especially from Vonda. And then I, I, it felt like I was presenting in front of a class. Like I had to, all right, what, what things can I say? What can't I say? And now it just feels like I'm just chilling with y'all. So it's pretty cool. Appreciate everyone's support. And uh, still got a bunch of, actually, I got a I'm setting up right now. So across this room, you can't see, right? But it's like this empty kind of area. Uh, me and my buddy thought of a cool idea. It might be interesting to watch. We're going to basically set up a couch or two seats there a little table in front and then we're just gonna get like super drunk and then just talk or basically like a podcast with no theme i'm just gonna call it like drunk cast or something right we're just gonna drink get drunk have fun and then i'll edit it together and hopefully we get some funny shit so i'm gonna do that alongside the reactions as well see how it goes and uh got a couple other things i'm planning so you guys stay tuned like subscribe and comment and i'll catch you guys in the next one Thank you.